Welcome back, everybody, to Oregon Springs, here on Farming Simulator 17. Woohoo! Your host with, uh, not the most, aka Tommy Miller. How y'all doing, folks? I am doing peachy today. Just peachy. Man, except for this squeaky, squeaky windmill. Actually, it's it's a it's a windmill, but the the wind turns the, the shaft and it pumps that water. I don't know where it's going. If it was me, I have a couple of thousand gallon tanks under the ground. Uh, yeah, but anyway, well, <sighs> there comes trampoline. Wait, I don't even. I don't. Huh? What? Uh, okay. Let's get farming, folks. Oh, yeah. Um, cooler, water jug, check. Uh, that's some good music. Not check because of copyright. Uh, well, I'm surprised this Ford symbol ain't copyright. Anyway, let's go to work. Um, do I want to go to the farm shop first, or? No, 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 no. But, yeah, I'm going to park my farm shop at, uh, I'll park my farm shop. <laughs> I'm going to park my truck at the farm shop. And, uh, up in here, so it'll be nice and, uh, cool and everything. And I'm going to get a, who am I going to get to run me up to the market shop? Let's get Colin Julian. Let's get him to run me up to the market shop. How's that, folks? Uh, hang on, I got just my microphone. It's too close. There we go. Y'all might be able to hear me better now since it's to my mouth, not my ear. Folks, as you can see. Uh, all the grass, the, the, these grass fields, especially 22, it's ready to, to mow. And this one sh should be ready to mow where it looks. But we got another problem. In the last episode, our sugar beets was ready to remove tops. They're 83% now instead of 67%. But 14 and 3 quarters of 4 is 100% ready. So we should be able to harvest today. So I'm having the Colin to take me up to the market shop. Oh, thanks, Colin. That was fast. God, he disappeared fast. Anyway, let's go talk to uh, uh, Morgan and see what we can do. We, we need a loan. We got ATM? Yeah, here we go. We're going to have to borrow some money. Uh-oh. That's right, we can't borrow from this. We have to go with this other, this third party company. Hang on, let me get my tablet out. Here we go. I was looking at some combines yesterday. Good thing too. And everything I need, we're going to come to $61,854. But you know me, I can't go that route. Um, edit loan. Um... Uh, Three hundred thousand. No, we're gonna go a hundred thousand, folks. We're gonna go a hundred thousand over that period two days. Life alone is seven days. Uh, you know what? I, I hate to do this, folks, but I'm going to go 200000 If we're going to go in debt, we might as well go in debt right, right? Um, um, take out the loan. All right, we got 200000 plus what we had. Let's leave this bank. All right, let's get my details on here. We now have two hundred and thirty thousand dollars folks we're gonna go in here to morgan and we're gonna say hi 
Okay. Hey, Morgan. What's up? Morgan. Yep. Okay. Yep. That, that sounds good. I need, I need, I need some machines, man. I need some machines. What? I, I think we can lease these babies. What do you think? I want to lease them this year, folks. Um, up here, I'm going to do wide tires because I figured that in 17,955 times twice. I'm on one more time. Yeah, buddy. Now we got to get a header for them. Actually, two headers because we have to get corn. So I did configure yeah, the extra. So it should be uh, $5,016. Yep, that's what I got down here times twice. So lease. Lease. Okay, it should be two of them. Yep, two. Oh, 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 gotta go back in here. Uh, now, this combine is from Farm Sim Steve. Uh, I told him I'd do a shout out video, which I done done two videos of this on um, Chanelitons, but I felt that wasn't right, so this is going to be the, the main shout out towards him. So go check him out. It will be down below in the description. Let's see, we got two. Yes, we got two of those. But this is the header to, to his uh, combine. And that combine I just showed you, this in here, the AGCO Challenger 680B. It's a, a Challenger uh, combine, 470 horsepower. You get uh, wide tires, front twin wheels, and the standard. Um, pretty reasonable price all the way around. Um, I usually like the McDonald header. Where did he put these? They're supposed to be. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Uh, one thing missing. Header trailers. Uh, let's, let's check these combines out, though. Uh, as you can see there, 680B Challenger. Uh, which is still the cat challenger got the wide tires on it uh, If I remember right, I think he said that he didn't Make the combine he just edited it and what I can see um, These things are Pretty realistic look at the pulley and stuff in there with the belt on it and stuff and all the details on it. Let's see, we got beacons. Uh, we got two front and back, so that's pretty nice. Um, starter up. She sounds great. Hope y'all can hear it. Uh, on the inside, the the details are. Uh, awesome now the monitor i wish the monitor was on and it is uh like this plain white but it just had the buttons and stuff on it um so that and the mirrors but other than that folks i love the details um Even back here in the grain tank, look at those details. That's uh, yeah, I need to unfold first. Oh, look at that! We can even see it unfold from in here. Awesome. Uh, we can't turn it on because we don't have a header uh, on it. But uh, real life, you can turn them on with the header off. Um. That's how they check them out. But check this out. We turn our lights on. Lights in here come on. That's awesome. And do we have the stern wheel? Yes, we do. All right. And your hazards blinks while it's in here. Now, what would I, I don't know, 
take the IC control off. What would be neat if you could see them up here. Like a little icon would come on. And also your beacons. You turn your beacons on. Uh, it would have an icon in here. That would be neat. But uh, anyway, these are awesome machines. I love them. But folks, we're going to have to get busy. It's 8 o'clock. I want to be harvesting by 11. Um, I got the trailers to get. I got to get two trailers. Uh, here they are. And I think we're going to go with the green ones. Uh, lease, yes. We're going to lease everything around on this time. Yeah, okay. I figured that would happen. Where'd that trailer go? Let's go down here and look. Can we put... Yes, we can put the header on like that. Okay, so let's get this machine. I don't know why I get in on the wrong side. Careful not to hit nothing. And no, you can't come in at an angle. Take them auto save. Uh, let's see here. There we go. See if I got enough room to do this. Switch into the header, gonna let it down. I think I'm even. Nope. Not right there. Um Farm Sim Steve, if you're watching this, is there any way shut this off? Is there any way? possible of making a header trader with straps or a locking load that needs to come back a little bit let's say if it had a strap right here where this little pin thing is and one right here that would go around and maybe um I don't know how they really strap them down in real life. I've been around them when they unhook them, but I think it should be like right here to that bar, I believe. It goes around this uh, PTO. No, it wouldn't go around that. But somehow or another, they strap them down. I know they don't go all the way around, but somehow or another, they... They do it. They lock them down somehow or another. But have a uh, locking strap there and there would be nice. Where you just come up here and strap it down like a regular strap and strap it. Just have it maybe just go like it's hooked to the bottom piece of the header there. Something like that. That would be awesome. Or just have a, uh, when you hook to it, have a locking load strip or something on it that would be awesome all right but anyway uh i'm not down in the machines or the headers or anything i'm just saying that uh what am i trying to say they're awesome machines i love them you've done an awesome wonderful amazing job but I'm just saying, you know, the monitor uh, would need a little touch up here and there. And if you can make me out, like I said, here, a strip or a uh, locking uh, straps or a lock load thing on it. Uh, I know this hooks up. Why ain't hooking up? 
Oh, there we go. Okay, I gotta be careful because that snout right there might hit that reel. Should have loaded it down. Anyway, here goes the first one. And I'm gonna get him to stop right here for a minute. I'm just gonna leave it running. Won't. Ah! Stupid garbage can. Uh, why did I go to the science floor? I gotta come over here and go in. Gee whiz. Alright, I got to buy one more trailer. So we can get down here, get this header out of the way. Alright. Alright, one more trailer to buy, or should I say lease. Yes. Okay. Oh, they would. Eh, they would. Let's see if I can get it from here. Oh, no. What did I do? Can I turn it back over? You got to be kidding me. Uh, pay no attention to the man driving the combine that's wrecking everything. Uh, he, he don't know what he's doing. I won't flip over. Okay, not where I wanted to flip, but it did work. Can I get this back on there? I bet the tree's going to be in the way. Maybe not. I always like to lower down and back up a little bit. I think that's going to be on a little bit better. Let me go around real quick. Um, I did buy the Sada, Sadika Auger. I can't pronounce, pronounce it, but it's a uh, little short gasoline motor auger to help out with the grain bins up by the chickens. And we're going to take a look at them here in just a minute. There we go. I'm going to check out something here. Yeah, see, I'm a little bit better. That metal piece with the yellow strip right there is actually supposed to sit on that black piece. So I could have pulled it back a little bit. That might be why it's not looking right. But, um, now let's see if we can get these to the farm without the headers falling off of it. Okay. Let's start with this one here first. And let's see here. Uh, farm to store. Store to farm. That's where we want to go. Drive course. Stop at the last. Uh, wait. Jamie's taking that. Be careful with it, Jamie. Alright, let's see. Do this in the same way. I go on the transport. Store to farm. I'm going to get on out here just a little bit further. About here, drive core, stop at the last. And J Metal 797 is taking this. All right, brother. Um, oh, hello. All right, um, who left the gate open? Um, oops, I think I did. <laughs> 
I just got them, uh, as you can see, taken care of, uh, 50% on that first pallet. Now, this is still the first pallet. That's a little over more than 50%. <laughs> um, we gotta get our 8R. Uh, let's see, let's... Check on uh, this. I'll show y'all this real quick. I should have scooted this bin over. So when this bin gets empty again, I think I'm gonna scoot it over that way. Try to get rid of this grass and put a road around here, so we can just come in, dump, and circle back around this way, and come out and have this in here where we uh, unload and that in there to be where we load. And oh yeah, I did buy this. Uh, it's 32,000 gallon tanker or 32,000 liters, I should say. A little bit too big for the chickens, but we're going to use it for the pigs and everything else, probably. Uh, other than that, I just I, I brought all the corn down here. So we, we have... Uh, okay, why is it not... Oh, I gotta go through this. Duh. So we got 33,583 liters of corn down here. Um, oh, wow. First combine already to its point? That's not good, folks. Oh, we got one. Stop driver. Can I get him turned around before? No, I can't. Okay. Um, I don't know if I can back this trailer. Yeah, it's kind of hard to back a trailer. Okay. Let's stop this in. J Metal and Jamie, thank you very much for getting these machines down here. Um, folks, we're going to fix and try to start uh, cutting corn. How sharp can I cut without cutting these straight? Yeah, it's close. I'm just going to unhook that and. Yeah, let's go ahead and unfold it. Oh, no, 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 not the headers. I need the, the, yeah, there we go. We're just going to see if we can cut. I really, really hope we can. All right, everything's look like a go. Oh, it's so nice and quiet. Is this thing running? Yeah, auger's running. All right, let's see if we can do this. Oh, oh, oh. Got to do something. I don't know. Got to get our wheel down here. It's it's harvesting, folks. Yay! Ah, right, we don't have very much corn, so I'm just going to use this one combine. Let me do something here, folks. It's on. Uh oh oh oh! I don't want no offset. I want that on. And I'm gonna hop out, put that back on. All right. Let's let's see if we. Oh, oh, yep, there we go. And we want to go in circles. And we got Donna on the combine. All right, Donna. I'm just going to do a, uh, 
that's kind of hard to do with one hand. There we go. It should have been a screenshot. That should be a screenshot. Let's 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 see. Um, this guy here. Um, you know I shouldn't have at least two headers. I thought we had more corn in that. But uh, oh crap! I shut the motor off. Not good, not good. Alright, we're going to drop this header over here. We're just going to tell Morgan I'm sorry, but uh, to come and get it here in a minute. Let's go ahead and get our top unfolding. What are these wide tires are wide. Let's just uh, see. I think we can get out from here. Uh-oh. We're going to line up a little bit better than that, Mr. Blue. Whoa. Come on. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we got opening back here. Don't run a spout in the building. Oh, almost think I was driving. Wait a minute, I am driving. Hey. Uh, I want to lay straw down on these. Um, that looked like it's rounded right there. What did I do? I, I did round it. Well, in that case, I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to start myself, I guess. Um, that should be right, so let's get started. Uh, uh, I don't want to lay straw down. There we go. How did I? Yeah, I come in the curve, so. What I'm going to do is cut down to this end here, and then I'm going to let somebody get it. Because i got to go get the 9R on the, on the auger wagon. And, uh, actually, I think I'm just going to stop when I get to the end here and go check on the corn. Because i got to get the gravity wagons. But that's going to go over to the chickens. We're going to have the corn go over there. All right. How did that do? Uh, ain't that in here tell us about the leaders, so I'm gonna have to get out. Uh, 3,414 leaders just from there, folks. Oh my goodness. You got to be kidding me. All right, um, we're going to destroy some crops here, folks. Ah, all right, let's get the 9RT fired up. Oh, yeah. I love this baby here. I gotta move some equipment out of the way. Guys didn't shut the doors on the bins. I guess I gotta do it all. Let's see. Oh, right there it is. It's in that. That should get us right there. I'm going to hop out here and get this door open. Uh, 
There we go. I'll shut this door back so in case we can close. All right, here we go. Y'all see that, folks? I think I'm seeing things. Might be because of my cat shaking or something. Anyway, let's see if we can get out of here. Oh, that's a tight squeeze. All right, folks. Well, I'm out of time today. But um, when we come back next time, we're going to be four force harvesting. Um, I gotta get the trucks down here. Uh, let's see here. What am I forgetting? Here we go. I get the flashers on since we don't have no beacons. But, uh, anyway, uh, when we come back, I say I'll probably, uh, let this guy finish the corn. While I get some things ready. So when we come back next time, I have the gravity wagons ready to be loaded and uh, uh, stuff like that. We might use that other trailer, that gray trailer on the on the AR to use for the barley and have him transport it to the grain bins, and uh, we'll just leave our trucks where to at for right now I guess um, might have to bring some of them down here but uh, anyway I, I hate to do this I know I'm going to damage some crops but I did not know he's going to stop that fast Whew. I hate messing up crops like that oh should save me some room getting in. All right, let's see here. Oh, my bad. I thought it was sturdy. Not RT so loud I can't even hear you. But anyway, folks, thanks for coming out watching, and I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to check the description box below for all the awesome family members I have down there. Um, Colin Joey, Mr. Yankee, oh lord, there's lots of them down there, folks. Uh, also, don't forget uh, my social media is down there, and also my PayPal account link is down there if you're feeling generous. So, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see y'all later, folks.